The Bengal tiger is a tiger from a specific population of the Panthera tigris tigris subspecies that is native to the Indian subcontinent. It is threatened by poaching, loss, and fragmentation of habitat, and was estimated at comprising fewer than 2,500 wild individuals by 2011. None of the tiger conservation landscapes within its range is considered large enough to support an effective population of more than 250 adult individuals. India's tiger population was estimated at 1,706 to 1,909 individuals in 2010. By 2018, the population had increased to an estimated 2,603 to 3,346 individuals. Around 300 to 500 tigers are estimated in Bangladesh, 220 to 274 tigers in Nepal and 103 tigers in Bhutan. The tiger is estimated to be present in the Indian subcontinent since the late Pleistocene, for about 12,000 to 16,500 years. The Bengal tiger ranks among the biggest wild cats alive today. It is considered to belong to the world's charismatic megafauna. It is the national animal of both India and Bangladesh. It used to be called Royal Bengal Tiger. Felis tigris was the scientific name used by Carl Linnaeus in 1758 for the tiger. It was subordinated to the genus Panthera by Reginald Innes Pocock in 1929. Bengal is the traditional type locality of the species and the nominate subspecies Panthera tigris tigris. The validity of several tiger subspecies in continental Asia was questioned in 1999. The Bengal tiger's coat is yellow to light orange, with stripes ranging from dark brown to black, the belly and the interior parts of the limbs are white, and the tail is orange with black rings. The white tiger is a recessive mutant of the tiger, which is reported in the wild from time to time in Assam, Bengal, Bihar, and especially from the former state of Rua. However, it is not to be mistaken as an occurrence of albinism. In fact, there is only one fully authenticated case of a true albino tiger, and none of black tigers, with the possible exception of one dead specimen examined in Chittagong in 1846. Males and females have an average total length of 270 to 310 centimeters and 240 to 265 centimeters respectively, including a tail of 85 to 110 centimeters long, they typically range 90 to 110 centimeters in height at the shoulders. The standard weight of males ranges from 175 to 260 kilograms, while that of the females ranges from 100 to 160 kilograms. The smallest recorded weights for Bengal tigers are from the Bangladesh Sundarbans, where adult females are 75 to 80 kilograms. The tiger has exceptionally stout teeth. Its canines are 7.5 to 10 centimeters long and thus the longest among all cats. The greatest length of its skull is 332 to 376 millimeters. Bengal tigers weigh up to 325 kilograms, and reach a head and body length of 320 centimeters. Several scientists indicated that adult male Bengal tigers from the Terai in Nepal and Bhutan, and Assam, Uttarakhand and West Bengal in North India consistently attain more than 227 kilograms 500 pounds of body weight. The Bengal tiger rivals the Siberian tiger in average weight. In addition, the record for the greatest length of a tiger skull was an over-the-bone length of 16.25 in 413 mm. This tiger was shot in the vicinity of Nagina in northern India. In 1982, a sub-fossil right middle phalanx was found in a prehistoric midden near Kuruwita in Sri Lanka, which is dated to about 16,500 YBP and tentatively considered to be of a tiger. Tigers appear to have arrived in Sri Lanka during a pluvial period, during which sea levels were depressed, evidently prior to the last glacial maximum about 20,000 years ago. The tiger probably arrived too late in southern India to colonize Sri Lanka, which earlier had been connected to India by a land bridge. Results of a phylogeographic study using 134 samples from tigers across the global range suggest that the historical northeastern distribution limit of the Bengal tiger is the region in the Chittagong Hills and Brahmaputra River Basin, bordering the historical range of the Indochinese tiger. In the Indian subcontinent, tigers inhabit tropical moist evergreen forests, tropical dry forests, tropical and subtropical moist deciduous forests, mangroves, subtropical and temperate upland forests, and alluvial grasslands. The basic social unit of the tiger is the elemental one of female and her offspring. Adult animals congregate only temporarily when special conditions permit, such as plenty supply of food. Otherwise, they lead solitary lives, hunting individually for the forest and grassland animals, upon which they prey. Resident adults of either sex maintain home ranges, confining their movements to definite habitats within which they satisfy their needs and those of their cubs, which includes prey, water and shelter. 
In this site, they also maintain contact with other tigers, especially those of the opposite sex. Those sharing the same ground are well aware of each other's movements and activities. The tiger is a carnivore. It prefers hunting large ungulates such as Chital, Sambar, Gaur, and to a lesser extent also Barasingha, Water Buffalo, Nilgai, Saro and Takan. Among the medium-sized prey species it frequently kills wild boar, and occasionally hog deer, Indian muntjac and grey langur. Small prey species such as porcupines, hares and peafowl form a very small part in its diet. Because of the encroachment of humans into tiger habitat, it also preys on domestic livestock. Bengal tigers occasionally hunt and kill predators such as Indian leopard, Indian wolf, Indian jackal, fox, mugger crocodile, Asiatic black bear, sloth bear, and dole. They rarely attack adult Indian elephant and Indian rhinoceros, but such extraordinarily rare events have been recorded. In Kaziranga National Park, tigers killed 20 rhinoceros in 2007. In 2011 and 2014, two instances were recorded of Bengal tigers killing adult elephants, one in Jim Corbett National Park on a 20-year-old elephant, and another on a 28-year-old elephant in Kaziranga National Park which was killed and eaten by several tigers at once. In the Sundarbans, a king cobra, Ophiophagus hana, and an Indian cobra, Naya Naya, were found in the stomachs of tigers. In most cases, tigers approach their victim from the side or behind from as close a distance as possible and grasp the prey's throat to kill it. Then they drag the carcass into cover, occasionally over several hundred meters, to consume it. The nature of the tiger's hunting method and prey availability results in a feast or famine, feeding style, they often consume 18 to 40 kilograms, 40 to 88 lb, of meat at one time. If injured, old or weak, or regular prey species are becoming scarce, tigers also attack humans and become man-eaters. None of the tiger conservation landscapes within the Bengal tiger range is large enough to support an effective population size of 250 individuals. Habitat losses and the extremely large-scale incidences of poaching are serious threats to the species' survival. The Forest Rights Act passed by the Indian government in 2006 grants some of India's most impoverished communities the right to own and live in the forests, which likely brings them into conflict with wildlife and under-resourced, under-trained, ill-equipped forest department staff. In the past, evidence showed that humans and tigers cannot coexist. In 1973, Project Tiger was launched aiming at ensuring a viable tiger population in the country and preserving areas of biological importance as a natural heritage for the people. The project's task force visualized these tiger reserves as breeding nuclei, from which surplus animals would disperse to adjacent forests. The selection of areas for the reserves represented as close as possible the diversity of ecosystems across the tiger's distribution in the country. Funds and commitment were mustered to support the intensive program of habitat protection and rehabilitation under the project. By the late 1980s, the initial nine reserves covering an area of 9,115 square kilometers 3,519 square miles, had been increased to 15 reserves covering an area of 24,700 square kilometers 9,500 square miles. More than 1,100 tigers were estimated to inhabit the reserves by 1984. Through this initiative the population decline was reversed initially, but has resumed in recent years. India's tiger population decreased from 3,642 in the 1990s to just over 1,400 from 2002 to 2008. The tiger is one of the animals displayed on the Pashupati seal of the Indus Valley Civilization. The tiger crest is the emblem on the Chola coins. The seals of several Chola copper coins show the tiger, the Pandya emblem fish and the Shara emblem bow, indicating that the Cholas had achieved political supremacy over the latter two dynasties. Gold coins found in Kavalayadavali in the Nellar district of Andhra Pradesh have motifs of the tiger, bow and some indistinct marks. Today, the tiger is the national animal of India. Bangladeshi banknotes feature a tiger. The political party Muslim League of Pakistan uses the tiger as its election symbol. Tipu Sultan, who ruled Mysore in late 18th century India, was also a great admirer of the animal. The famed 18th century automaton, Tipu's tiger was also created for him. The tiger was the dynastic symbol of this dynasty. The iconography persisted and during the Indian Rebellion of 1857, Punch ran a political cartoon showing the Indian rebels as a tiger, attacking a victim, being defeated by the British forces shown by the larger figure of a lion. Notable Bengal tigers include the man-eating tigers of Chogar, Chuka man-eating tiger, the bachelor of Pawalgar and Thak man-eater, tiger of Sagur, tiger of Mundachapalam, and the wily tiger of Mundachapalam.
Apart from the above-mentioned uses of the Bengal tiger in culture, the fight between a tiger and a lion has, for a long time, been a popular topic of discussion by hunters, naturalists, artists, and poets, and continue to inspire the popular imagination to the present day. There have been historical cases of fights between Bengal tigers and lions in captivity.